What's up, everybody? It's Ken here. Hey, listen, in the show today, I'm going to talk to you about books. Really simple. Uh, if you're wanting to build a coaching business and you're wanting to change your life, you got to get into reading and it's not easy. And most people who say they're readers don't actually read books. And frankly speaking, while we're on the topic, we might even talk about writing books, but we're going to get started in this conversation right after this. So the big question is this, how is a tiny percentage of entrepreneurs blow the pack away? What are they doing that we're not? I asked myself that question for 10 years. I was failing forward and getting sick of it. I wanted to build a coaching business, but couldn't make any headway. So I started studying. I realized that the world's most elite marketers, entrepreneurs, and gurus were all using the same four step system. I call it the authority factor. On the show, I'm going to prove to you that the authority factor worked for them and it'll work for you. My name is Ken Dunn. Let's get started. Hey friends, glad to be back with you again. And listen, this this is a really uh, interesting episode for sure. It's it's not my normal trend by any stretch of the imagination, uh, because we're going to talk about a two thousand year old topic today. We're going to talk about books. Uh, more importantly, though, and, and specifically, why you as a coach or a course creator needs to get into reading. It's sad, it really is. The vast majority of people that are trying to build coaching businesses today, they don't read, they don't try and personally develop, and that's your biggest challenge. Uh, I'm writing a book right now, it's called Get Paid Helping Others, and essentially in this book, I'm gonna walk people through the exact four-step system that I've used to build this eight-figure coaching empire, this this entire business that I have today. And, and the four steps really simply are build yourself, build your following, build your list, and build your income. And it all starts with you building yourself. And what that actually means is you want to get crystal clear on things like who your ideal client is, what's the journey that they're on, how you present yourself to the market, how you, your image, your brand, how you appear on camera, all of these things are really important. But here's the other thing that's important. It's, it's personal development for you, the coach. Personal development. Now, how do you, how do you personally development? You, de- you personally development uh, develop on two topics. The first one, is whatever your discipline is, whatever your business is about. So if you're into um, weight loss and health coaching, you need to be in good shape. You need to personally develop. You need to constantly be evolving who you are as a person, how you eat, how you dress, how you act, you name it. Um, And then the other thing that you need to personally develop on, and that's for everybody, it's your marketing business. It's how you build your business. And of course, you watching this video with me right now is a form of personal development. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch all the videos, that's personal development. So give yourself a tick in the check column for for being involved in personal development. So what I do in my business to personally develop is I study the masters. And uh, one of the masters I've studied forever and ever is this guy. His name is Russell Brunson. You guys probably already know who he is. Russell is unbelievable. He's been in digital marketing and studying how to evolve for almost two decades now. And he's, he's been unbelievable. And I've been in his inner circle. I've um, in many programs that he offers right now. Uh, And that's part of my personal development. Now, there's going to be some people that say, well, aren't you just stealing from him if you're building your business based on what you've watched him do and you're doing the same thing? How is that authentic? Friends, that's what everybody does. Where it becomes unethical or unauthentic is if, if I were just to read his Expert Secrets book, which I am reading again right now. You can see my page piece right there. If I was just to read his Expert Secrets book and I basically reverberated, regurgitated what he taught in this book and I just started teaching other people, then then I'd be a fraud. You know, that's unauthentic. But where this becomes authentic is what I'm actually doing is I'm reading and learning from Russell. I'm implementing the things that he teaches me through his books and his programs and and getting my own results. And then I'm teaching my results 
to other people. You see what I'm saying? See, every coach has a coach. And, and, and I gotta tell you, friends, my biggest passion in life is to show you how to turn a, your own book into a business. And we have a program called our Writing Madly program where we've helped thousands of entrepreneurs write their books in a single weekend. It takes less than five hours to do it. And, and hundreds of those thousands of books, I've actually reviewed them, but you know what? Even people who come through our Writing Madly weekend and they write their books, I mean, they do it in five hours, but did you know what I'm noticing? is there's a difference. There's, there's like two classes of books that come out of our program. Now, our books sell. And the reason is during the Writing Madly program, actually, I'm gonna put a link in the notes below this so you can watch a free workshop where I'm gonna teach you how to write a book. So if you have not written a book yet, go check out that workshop. You're gonna learn how to structure your entire book in less than 30 minutes. So structuring means how do you figure out what the chapters are and what's in each chapter. And then I'm going to show you exactly how thousands of people have written their books in less than five hours. It's unbelievable. Um, but inside of that writing group, here's the funny thing. I tell people every time I get a chance to, you have to become a reader. And you're hearing it from me right now. You have to become a reader. And I know that 80% of you hate reading or you try to read and you struggle reading. Here's how you get over that. Go get a, a bunch of books that are in the space that you're in and read them and just start reading books. And if a book doesn't resonate with you, just put it aside. Try another book. And keep reading them. I just got this book. I'm really excited about it. This is uh, Alex Hermosi. Alex and I were in the inner circle together for a couple of years. And he wrote a book called $100 Million Offers. And, and you know, like this might be a good book for you to read. What I love about the way Alex designed this, it's like a big picture book. Um, it's hardcover and all of the, he's instead of, normally when you write a book, we're dealing with a 12 point font inside. Well, he's got everything double spaced and a 14 point font. So really easy to read. But the point is just keep trying to read books until you find one that fits with you. Then go find other books just like that. So that's number one. Number two, put a time in your calendar every single day where all you do is read. Force yourself to start with just 30 minutes a day and grab some books, grab a special area in your house if you have to. This is my special area where this is all I do is read books and just force yourself to do it. I, look, I have, when, if, when it comes to personal development, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars going to live events. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in mastermind groups. And I've spent hundreds of dollars, 20 bucks here, 10 bucks here, five bucks here, buying books. I think the books are the most important part. Now, when I first started in marketing and coaching 15 years ago, I didn't like reading books. It was really hard for me to get into it, but I stuck with it. And now I like to read a book a week. And what you're just, what, like I just can't say it enough to you friends, when you read books regularly, you get the benefit of learning from people that have already done it. But you know what? You know what Russell's putting in his books? He's putting all of his best stuff in his books. He's not going to waste your times with the things that didn't work so well. It's all of his best stuff. So what does it allow you to do? It allows you to accelerate the learning process yourself. So you get where you want to go faster. It's really that simple. So what's the point to all of this? The reality is if you're trying to build a coaching business and you're not engaged in building yourself, if you're not engaged in personal development, then don't bother to try to build a coaching business because you're not going to be serving your students. You're going to be an imposter. If you're not reading books yourself, how are you growing? How are you 
deepening your understanding? How are you sharpening the saw? You got to do it. You got to read books. It's what it, it's, it's the only option I can suggest to you. It's, it's what it all comes down to. It really does. Hey friends, if you're trying to build a coaching business and you have not written a book, you're missing the boat. I mean, you take a look at some of these books that I have here. My personal mentor, Russell Brunson, has written five books now and he's used these books to build a hundred million dollar company. Uh, this is Tanner Chittiser. This guy literally four years ago was a broke gym owner. He wrote a book, he used the book to build his business now he's making tens of millions of dollars a year. Tacky Moore from Australia. He was trying to build a coaching business and he was doing okay with it. He wrote an amazing book. This book has sold hundreds of thousands of copies around the world. Now he has a $10 million business. One of my favorite stories, Alex Hermosi. I was in Russell Brunson's mastermind group with this guy uh, six years ago when he was first getting started. He built a business, started to do really well. He wrote a book and exploded the business. Friends, writing a book isn't hard if you know what to do. That's why I want to invite you to watch this workshop that I've created. I've helped thousands of people to write books. I've helped hundreds of people to write amazing books and use those books to launch their own coaching businesses. And I wanna help you. I created a workshop where I went over in detail case studies of hundreds of people who wrote their books using our Writing Madly system, and it's all in the workshop. I took my whiteboard, I literally shared my screen, pulled up the chalkboard, and I wrote out and, show, and proved to everybody the structuring technique that allows you to write your book in less than five hours. Did you know there's a 30-minute technique that you do with a pen and piece of paper that if you do this technique, it's going to absolutely guarantee that you structure the chapters of your book in a way that's gonna force people to read it. That once they open the first couple pages, what they see in the first chapter forces them to read the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter. And there's lots of people out there that are gonna try and tell you they know how to help you write a book, but you've never seen the structuring technique that I'm gonna show you in the workshop. If you want to write a book, or if you wrote a book and it failed, this workshop is gonna show you why it did. So click the learn more button and check it out, it's free. Don't make the mistake of writing a book without this system.